Hi. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath, and today's topic is PHC, Primary Health Center. What is the difference between a hospital and primary health center? Most of the students, they have a doubt. See, PHC is almost like a hospital, but it is not exactly. Primary health PHC level is below the hospital, but it is very strong, very strong. PHC is very strong. Okay. And uh, amino acids are the building blocks of the protein. We know that. Everybody knows that. In the same fashion, total India education uh, health system, total India health system, building blocks is the PHC. Number of PHCs together, if you kept together, all the PHCs in the each and every village, if you kept together, it forms a total India health system. That's why it is a building blocks, building basic structure, basic unit of the our total nation health system, entire burden depends upon the primary health center only. That's it. It is a level just below the hospital. You can find in any, uh, every village, each and every village, there will be an PHC. Whereas in hospitals, you can find in the mandal level. Mandal. Mandal level or above the taluka, like that only you can find in the hospital. But primary PHC is not like that. Right? Okay. So uh, here you can see the real picture of the PHC. Uh, primary health center, uh, sharing Ampalli. Here you can see uh, uh, Pradhamika. In Telugu, it's a Pradhamika Arogya Kendram. It is a primary health center. Name itself indicates it's a primary building block. Okay, At that point you have to keep in your mind strong. Primary. Okay, see here, primary health center. Okay, yeah, we are studying a subject of social and preventive pharmacy, also called as social and preventive medicine. Okay. It is a common for all, including MBBS also. For all medical students, it is very, very important, including all medical and paramedical students. And uh, here, this is a unit five. See the community services in rural area, urban area, and school health. This is the name of the chapter, chapter five. And functions of the PHC, functions. This is the topic what we are going to be cover. Okay, this is the name of the chapter. Okay, right. Uh, what are the points I have covered here? Means first one, PHC introduction. What is the goals or aims or objectives? Almost all are same only. Uh, no much difference. PHC structural organization. Organization structure. What is the structure? Who will be there? And functions. Okay. These are the points what I have covered. Mainly in the syllabus, they have highlighted the function. Okay. So PHC, this is an introduction. It looks like a simple room or two rooms or three rooms, whatever it may be. It is a very... Uh, basic level structure. It is called as a primary health center, also called as a public health center. Same PHC, public health center, primary health center. You can call it any name, no problem at all. Mainly this is officially designation, okay? Because the public people will come, primarily they will contact. Okay, and that's good. See, it is a first contact point between the village community, village people or village community and a medical officer. Later, then only they will go to the hospital. First basic point, basic contact. That's why it is called a primary. Primary contact between a diseased person okay, and medical officer. That is a primary contact point. It is a basic structural and functional unit of the public health services. I have told it is just like amino acid in the protein. In the same fashion, this is also basic structural unit as well as a functional unit. Both, not only structural unit. It is an integral part of the health system. Total integration. See, any national level health programs, what we have covered so far, all national health programs, total burden again came and fall again at finally on the primary health center only. For example, say Pulse Polio National Program. So who will add either the, from the nation, the persons will come and add uh, the polio drops? No. PHC people only that. Name is national wide. But PH, it is a burden. It goes to the states. From states, it goes to the districts. From districts, it goes to the mandals. Mandal, it goes to the PHC. So finally, all will fall on the PHC only. That's it. It is an integral part of the health system. They will coordinate well with the, all the national health schemes and all with the hospitals, district hospitals and all. It provides the multidisciplinary, also not a single disciplinary, multidisciplinary patient-centered services. Mainly patient is the center point here. Okay, all the people, even pharmacists, even the nurse, all they will come and touch with the patient only. That is the patient is the center point. 
it focus on both prevention and the treatment that's very 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 important point its functions mainly it focus on the prevention because prevention is better than cure that everybody knows okay it reduces the pressure of the hospital see if there is no phc even hospitals cannot tolerate the pressure that much of heavy rush is there especially from india in the india like a country and all this point is very very important okay and it is easily accessible easily you can go the hospital means again you have to go to mandal or uh, higher level taluka level and you have to achieve. but here it is not like that in your village only you can get phc level basic information you can get from there okay very good service when compared to the uh, remaining uh, systems goal these are the mainly goals to provide the primary health care this is a main one primary health care is very very important primary health center primary health care here also you can see phc only to the community community means is nothing but a public okay to achieve and maintain the standards of quality quality public health they want to maintain they want to maintain the health to make the services to the community as per the need their need if is there any need corona vaccination they will give polio vaccine they will give you treatment paracetamol they will give you okay like anything to integrate the health into all sector to pursue the collaborative models of uh, policy dialogue and the development of workforce this is also important point participation of the community to enforce the health education health education means they, they will make aware uh, about the health so deafness they will make aware the public okay anything they will make education they will call the people and they will educate them because village people they cannot listen the words so that's why these phc people they will call them they will counsel him or they will go to their home and they will uh, educate them okay including sanitization also this is the structural organization these are all the staff members like uh, here i have kept the different types of categories will be available total 10 staff will be there in each phc first one is a medical officer he is a main uh, thing minimum mbbs minimum that is minimum md also may be there or ms surgeon may be there but main one medical officer is the uh, one person one pharmacist minimum d pharmacy level one pharmacist must be there one lab technician minimum b pharmacy d, uh, d pharmacy b pharmacy m pharmacy may be like that one lab technician minimum dlt diploma in lab technician one block this is for the testing and all to do any sugar test or blood test or for anything they will they have to do this and one block extension educator educator they will make the people to educate or counsel okay uh, nurse midwife not your wife housewife okay it is a midwife midwife is nothing but almost like a nurse okay housewife is different midwife is different don't write in the exam as a housewife please okay and one female health worker uh, one male health assistant one female see here one male health assistant and one female health assistant uh, male health assistant for the to handle the patients of the male and female health assistant they will take the help of uh, for the female or the female doctor uh, like that uh, four health workers and one uh, van or jeep will be there that is a driver will be there and uh, uh, phc functions are mainly four types all these four types in each slide we will see one one type type one functions first one is a treatment first one is a treatment what is the second one prevention and early in these all the headings i will tell you first one is type one functions treatment first of all they will give the treatment see here images this is a type one function first contact treatment of the illness and injury is the doctor and primary community is the phc only primary 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 continuing management of the chronic illness see some of the diseases are not uh, single opd is not enough multiple visits they need a multiple visits is it so that's why regularly frequently either weekly ones or monthly ones they have to visit the hospital these are chronic diseases especially so first one is illness and injury they will treat and uh, continuing the management of the chronic diseases long term diseases 24 hours on call services duty doctors will be gone changing yes morning one duty and evening one duty 24 hours you have to call sir provision of the essential drugs they have to maintain the all essential drugs ensure the access to provision of oral health services oral uh, oral health services 
provision that means that uh, it is nothing but a education they will tell you go out there uh, you go to a hospital or you go to uh, district level hospital there the facilities available there the surgeries are available like that they will try to explain orally health they will help the and ensure the access to provision of 24 emergency care emergency services also available just like it is nothing but like a hospital only but not exactly and phc functions are four uh, four types of, uh, second type you will see mental health services mental health very very important okay it is also part of the health only not only physical health mental health child health services maternal see here maternal mother health services child health services screening and early detection of the disease that is the second point mainly prevention and early invention because if you detect the early disease automatically you can have a grip over the disease otherwise uh, it is not possible if anybody joined in the late stages it will be a problem risky that uh, the guard only has to save like that okay uh, so uh, this is a uh, uh, early detection is very 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 important one okay um, chronic disease management that is a long time i have already told you immunization programs all immunization including a polio vaccine or corona vaccine whatever it may be okay uh, bcg vaccine uh, communicable disease control actions actions they will take place okay they will supply the mask they will supply the sanitizer also okay and the medical termination of the pregnancy they will terminate the pregnancy as per the rules and regulations that much of they they have that uh, phc structure okay and the management of uh, reproductive tract uh, infections rti it is called as that and also they will control the sti also sexually transmitted infections and uh, third type function rehabilitation see here first one is a treatment we have already second one is a prevention and early detection third one is a rehabilitation this is a rehabilitation this person slowly rehabilitating this is exact meaning of the rehabilitation by seeing the picture itself we can able to find what is a rehabilitation again he is back the same fashion okay care for the clients for the following treatment uh, discharge of the patients after completion of the treatment they will discharge like this in the rehabilitate okay daily the patient has to go and they have to do some physiotherapy some exercise and all uh, adequate support they will give you uh, to the patients during the rehabilitation and the recovery all the equipments will be there uh, phc you can go and ask them and uh, rehabilitate you can be come back to the normal position and this is a last slide and uh, type 4 function clinical support system clinical means humans that we know very well clinical trials they will give a support staff development staff development of a staff training if anybody came uh, newly nurse came pharmacist they will they will train they will train according to the, they will educate them how to do a job and how to make the administrative legal and other services they will do uh, administrative means they have a medical officer is very very important he has a direct contact with the collector also okay and all the doctors also okay administrative work if anything is a case legal case are issuing the case enquiry police enquiry like a legal works okay the mbbs whatever he giving, giving a certificate that's a final that's it okay that is a legally they are providing they can submit in anywhere okay quality system uh, pharmacy services they will give the tablets also very important uh, they will provide the tab, uh, tablets or capsules okay nutritions they will provide you b complex tablets b complex injection they will provide you okay basic diagnostic services like a basic tests okay and uh, school health school health adolescent health care school health means uh, they will go to the school and they will tell the, they will educate the people they will educate the students and they will educate the adolescents regarding all the these things okay uh, the corresponding job sexually transmitted diseases whereas in child one uh, some communicable diseases they will explain you and promotion of a safe drinking water actually municipality is responsible to provide the drinking water but here whenever municipality is planning to add a chlorine add a chlorine uh, these people they have to take the help of medical officer if the medical officer says that you add a chlorine it will prevent the disease it prevent it kills the uh, various viruses are present in the water you have to chlorination of the water that's guidance by the mbbs 
medical officer only from phc only officially they have to take then only they can add how much they want they can add according to the suggestions of that and basic sanitation like a sprinkling of bleaching water bleaching powder etc and all uh, environmental uh, thing also that they can be explained. okay so uh, i will end my session here in my channel playlist all videos are available subject wise so all the name of the subject if you click on that again you will get number of videos in that one.